Hello lighting people. Today I'm going to show you how to create a virtual dimmer channel in your fixture profile on Green May 3. And if you're not sure what that is, follow along because I will show you. And this is something you're probably going to need to know. So I'm going to use six plus bar pixels as an example. Um, these fixtures I have personally worked with before. I've had them in my show. I just deleted them so that I could re-add them for this video, but I'm going to go into my patch and I'm going to get ready to add these pixel bars in. So as you can see, I have my light sorted into grouping fixtures. I'm going to insert a new grouping fixture right here. And I'm going to call it pixel bars and give it an ID of 400. I will create the fixture and here it is. Now I can insert new fixtures inside of this, which is what I'm going to do. So I'll go to insert new fixture, choose library, and now I can search for my fixture. Now this fixture actually did not exist in the MA3 library, so I had to go get the fixture profile and download it from GDTF share before I started here. And then uh, I put it in the right location so that now it exists in my library. And if I search it, I will find it. And here it is. I'm going to start by patching these in 82 channel mode. So I'll select that and then I'll change the name to pixel bar. I need 12 of them and I'm going to start the fixture ID at 401 and it doesn't like this. There we go. Create and now I have my 12 pixel bars in here in 82 channel mode. You probably already knew how to patch fixtures, but for right now, I'm going to get to adding a virtual dimmer channel in. So let's go to fixture types over here and then select this particular fixture type and click edit. And now I'm going to go down to the mode I'm currently using and click edit again. And here is where we're going to have to make a change to some things because if we go to sub fixture overview, we can see this is the main fixture. Attribute one is dimmer, two is shutter, three is we have colors and so on. But when I click into this, the sub fixtures only have RGB, lime, amber, ultraviolet. Um, so we have color control over the individual pixels, but we can't dim the pixels individually because the individual sub fixtures do not have a dimmer channel, only RGB, AL, UV channels. So in order to fix that, I'm going to have to create a relation between these uh, colors and put the dimmers in and these are already set up it says it has them set to follow the head dimmer but what that means is that anytime you change the dimmer for an individual fixture it's going to change the dimmer for the entire thing and that is not what i want i want individual dimmer control so i'm going to click insert new DMX channel and then I have this brand new DMX channel here and I'm going to scroll over here and click attribute and select dimmer and now it changed the name to ref beam dimmer and tell it to respond to the grandmaster and that should be all I need to change for right now okay so now I have this ref beam dimmer in here I'm going to go to relations and I'm going to change these to match that now what this is saying is um the master dimmer is going to control all of these attributes which is how we can control the dimmer so then we tell the console to change the dimmer value and it is going to change red green blue lime amber and ultraviolet to match the dimmer level you put in so that the colors brightness will be low enough that it will be off or at whatever brightness level you want. And now if we go to sub fixture overview, we can see dimmer is now attribute one for all of the sub fixtures. So now we have dimmer and color control for all the sub fixtures. So now that we have this relation set up, we can use our fixtures normally the way we would want to. And that is what you call a virtual dimmer. Now you would have to do this individually for every single um, DMX mode that is not properly set up and be careful when you're adding new fixtures into your um, patch that you do not accidentally add multiple fixture types of the same because then if you're using different ones and you edit one of them it will not edit both of them 
That is, however, useful in case you need to edit some attributes for some fixtures and not for others. So that is what you call a virtual dimmer. It is where you do not have a real dimmer channel, so you use a virtual dimmer to control the color attributes to affect the output brightness. Now I can exit the patch and I'm ready to start programming. I hope this helps you, and if you have any further questions, leave them in the comments and I will try to answer them as best I can.